Yes, Raiden, you can earn prizes, dude. It's real. <laughs> we are black. God damn it, Luke. V bucks, he says. Cool. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Mega Max? Good to see you, dude. What's going on? <laughs> he's not bandage gold. He's just he's he's muted. He's muted. You guys gotta be chill in the Discord. What's up, Nolan? Good to see you, dude. What's today? Tuesday? Tuesday? Ooh, getting closer to Thanksgiving. Getting closer to the day that I just get to eat until I, I hate myself. Everyone's probably watching ads right now. Yeah, get me that. I, I think I make like literally like 10 cents off of ads per month or something. So like, I don't really make much ads. Yo. Yo, what's up mechanical? Yo, is that, are you, are you talking on your new mic, dude? I was talking on my new mic yesterday. <laughs> nice dude. Yeah, it sounds so much better, dude. Yeah, I'm like one foot away. <laughs> oh wow, nice. Like I, I could be way more closer too, but no, it's nah. all good. And and that's USB, right? So it just hooks right up to yep, your um. It's, yeah, hooked up right onto my laptop. That's sweet, dude. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I just got um. You you guys can earn it too. Just join the server yes, and yes. Uh, enter the monthly tournaments. That's right. I need to I need to announce the new rules for the monthly tournament. Seeing as the first time I tried to announce the rules, they got deleted somehow. So like I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um, I have to go now. I'm I'm playing a game with my friend. I don't want to interrupt. You're good, so bro. Have, You're good. Have a great time in your Thanks. stream. Thanks. Thank you, dude. I'll see Thank you, later. you. Good to see you, dude. Nice. Is the same prizes as last month? Oh, there are new prizes. You know, there's always new prizes. And actually, I think we're going to extend this thing into, like, a holiday event, so I'll probably get even bigger prizes, honestly. Um, so, you know. You guys you guys tell me, what what, what do you guys want? What, what prizes do you guys want? Are there, like, specific things where you're like, yo, that would be really dope if I could have that? Nice. Ooh, yo, thanks for the thanks for the follow, May plays. What's up? A Lambo, dude. Lambo, dude. I can't. I, I unfortunately can't buy Lambos right now. My my Lamborghini account is not uh, not high enough. Here, let's move this camera a little bit. There we go. I have two questions. Do I ask both? Yes. Yes. I see. Uh. Well, no. You only get one bond coin for as many questions as you ask. If if you're lucky, I have enough time to go through two of them. But. Uh, which I did with Habib's last time. I think I went through like three of Habib's questions last time. Um, at students isn't a role anymore. It is, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> H. Colt, dude, what? It's science, by the way, dude. Nice. Ooh, and Nolan got another bond coin. Nolan, you, you have your 30, dude, for your next reward, don't you? I feel like you do. What's up, Charles? Charles, I'll be here in the chat, too. Nice. Yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good, dude? Tuesday, Tuesday. Dude, do you guys still have school? I know a lot of a lot of students like, got the whole fucking week off. Oh, you did? Oh, okay, Nolan. Did you, did you send me a DM what you want? You got to send me a DM what you got. Oh, you guys just finished today, yeah. Because I think I think Wednesday, at least for a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of businesses, at least are closed. I gotta make sure because I gotta go to Costco and get like food for Thanksgiving. I hope they're open tomorrow. Hi, Obama. Hi, Obama. How's it going? Let's see. Clear all this. 
this. So we just go to we're just chatting thing and we just wait for people. A custom PC would be an amazing prize. Yes, a custom PC would be an amazing prize. <laughs> I would love to have a custom PC that I could just give to you guys. That would that would be sweet. Um, Forza graphics card prices are like nuts right now. Although I I did see there were some good deals actually on some gaming PCs. I saw some for like five hundred dollars, like eight hundred dollars. They weren't too expensive, honestly. They came with like a sixteen sixty super, and then I think a twenty sixty. Sorry, no, a thirty sixty. Um, question is whether it actually ships. I don't know if that thing's actually gonna ship. Let's fix the. There we go. Fix that. Nice. Okay, cool. It's been about 10 minutes, so I'll say, okay, welcome everyone to Office Hours. This is the stream where we help you out with your math and science homework. Um, anything you got a question in, you got a test coming up. I know a lot of teachers put tests on you guys, like, for either tomorrow or today, um, right before Thanksgiving. Or some, some teachers are especially cruel, and they have tests, like, the Monday that you get back from Thanksgiving. Which, oh, Dr. Gold. What's up, bro? My my brody's trying to join. Yes. And, uh, how did he join the call? Because, like, I invited him to the server. Did he accept the rules? How do you accept the rules? I uh, it should be something that just says accept the rules. I don't know when he joins. What's his name? Is he is has he uh, been at Sebi? At what? What's his name? Sebi. Sebi. I don't see that. Semi. Sebi. Sebi. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me. See. When did when did he join the Discord? Just now. Just now. All right. Let me see. Uh, I see. Omg, man signed up oh and sebi okay there's sebi cool yeah both them both them they're both my friends oh nice okay cool so, um what do they have to press what is it in like uh, i don't yeah i don't know i i don't hi hi may plays how's it going um yeah when you join the discord i think there's something that says like like if they try to chat in just have them try to chat in any of the channels or something and then something should pop up in the discord app that should say that they need to like accept the rules or like yeah. make sure that their account has an email associated with it. That's that's the way we keep out like bots and stuff. Is that uh, right. they have to at least have I think an email verification on their Discord account. Okay. Uh, if they just joined, but and then once they join and then they get so they should automatically get the students role. You can tag them in the referral credit channel, and then you get uh, bond coins for inviting people to the server. Right, Whoa, yo, we got another sub, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you, Obama, dude. That's sick. Thank you, dude. Wow. Got a sub. Nice. Fuck yeah. Love me. Love me some subs, dude. Jeffy Bezos going to give me that $2.50, dude. <laughs> Obama rich, though, dude. Obama is rich. He's the president. Or he was the president. W, Mr. Beast. Someone said that. They said, I'm I'm like Mr. Be Beast, but like not as like giving out Lambos. <laughs> I just give out gift cards. Uh, I would love to give out Lambos at some point. Let's see. Uh, BB Nolan. Yes, yeah, Steam gift card. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'll get that to you, Nolan, after after this. Uh, discount version. Mr. B's discount version. Okay, cool. I'll take that. I, I think that's, uh, that's still, um, that's, that's, that's still, uh, you know, it's a compliment. I'll take it. Mr. B's discount version. For now. Nice. And you got the 500 MTs. Yeah, nice. Okay, sweet. Oh, no, let's go back to this. Okay, let's see. New mentions. Office hours channel. Okay, cool. Habibs, you got some questions. Okay, cool. Dr. Gold, you know who I am, right? Or May? Are you Zerudo's friend? I think you're Zerudo's friend, right? Zeruto had a friend named May. Yes, yes, I do know that. What happened to your original account, May? I think you had you had another account, I thought. May loves Zach. Yes, I remember this one. I made I made a new account. Okay, yeah, cool. Alright, that's all good. Alright, let's see. Let's go to we got some questions. Habib asked some questions here in the in in the in the stream. That's that's good. I like I like questions. Questions are good. So here's the first question, and then let's pull the second one in. I'm always pulling them Hello? twice. Yeah, what's up? What's up, Nolan, dude? Yeah, what's up? All right. This looks almost like geometry. 
Oh, okay. Ha <laughs> We did this one, Habibs. We did one very similar to this, dude. Yeah. It says, uh, which equation could you use to prove in order to conclude that the lines are parallel? Okay. What's uh, nice, Masons, with the, the bond coin redemption? Yeah. <coughs> okay. So, Habibs, how, how do I know that two lines are parallel? What, what's, a, what's a property of parallel lines? Slope. Yes. So, specifically, they have the same slope, right? Parallel lines equal same slope. That's that's the important thing. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, in order to get the slope of this line, for instance, let's call this like line 1. Let's call this like line 2. So, this would be like M1, which would be the slope. Uh, that's always going to be Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1, okay? It said I didn't do it, so that's why. It's okay. Well, we, we did this... Um, did we do this? I think we did do this. I'd have to check the VOD, but I'll go over it again. It's okay. So you can call either one of these points one or two. It doesn't matter which one as long as, you know, you keep it consistent. So I'm going to call this one like one. I'm going to call this point one. I'm going to call this point two. All right. So Y2 is going to then uh, end up being um, this point here. This is Y2. This is X2. This is Y1. This is X1. So this is going to equal to uh, zero minus A over b minus 0. Okay, that's m1. So that's negative a over b. Okay, then m2. Let's call this one point 1. Let's call this one point 2. Again, this is going to be y2. So this is going to be negative d minus y1, 0, over x2, which is 0, minus x1. So minus minus c is going to be plus c. So this is going to equal negative d over c. Okay, so then... Um, what we have for our requirement is in order for these slopes to be the same, right? M1 equal to M2, which means that the lines are parallel. I need negative A over B to equal negative D over C. Minus signs will cancel. Uh, and you should get... Oh, okay. Well, this is the same thing. Negative A over B equals... They, they don't need this minus sign. You can just... All right, this is just kind of silly. But yeah, that's the answer, Habibs. Yeah. Really, it's, it's A over B equals D over C, but... Negative A over B does also equal negative D over C. That's true. Cool. Um, let's see. What, what was the next question? Okay, here, here's a good question, though. Here, here's like a little bonus question for you guys. Uh, how, how, what, what would I need the condition to be in order for these lines to be perpendicular? Do you guys know that? Uh. Let, so let, let, let's, let's think about it. So the slope of two, two things, right, that are perpendicular, what do we know about the slopes of two things that are perpendicular? Uh, no, 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 no. Parallel lines, the slopes are the same. Perpendicular lines, so this, is, this, is, this is important. So perpendicular, perpendicular, oh, fuck, I can't write today. Perpendicular oh, lines. Yo, do you know how to accept the rules? What's up? I don't. I don't think it's like the accepting rules is working because I'm trying to help my friend right now on his phone. It's not really working. Oh no! What does it no, say? No, yeah. What does it say on his Discord? It keeps saying like, yeah. Which do you know which like chat it's in? Like uh, announcements, front office. I think any like, of them. I think honestly, any of the chats will like. It's 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 within the app. Um, is there a way for me to manually? One sec. Let me see. One sec. Okay. Maybe I can, I can manually. Right now. Uh, yeah, it's, it's oh my god, man, and Sebi. Can I manually approve people? Server community settings? I don't know where it is. Member? Or maybe it's under members. Uh, okay, his name is Sebi, right? Sebi, and then oh my god, man. Okay, here. Here, I'm going to manually give him the student's role. Alright, sounds good. And then I'm gonna give who's the other guy? Oh my god, man. Oh my OMG god. Man. OMG man. Okay. I manually gave him the student's role as well. Let Sounds good. Tell Thank me if that fixes it for him. Alright, does it work? No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, anyways. So perpendicular lines, guys, the slopes need to be the... What's up? They said it worked. Okay, cool. Alright. That's interesting. I don't know why it's doing that, but okay. Um 
Okay, so uh, perpendicular lines, you need um, the uh, the slopes need to be the negative reciprocals. Okay, so if if slope m one was equal to, uh, for instance, let's say like a over b, the perpendicular line to m to m one would need to be have a slope equal to negative b over a. Okay, so the slope of m one times the perpendicular slope would then be equal to a over b times negative b over a. You see how this would cancel, and this would just become equals to minus 1? Uh, do you guys know how many stream points you can get on in one stream? Uh, okay, so yeah, I, I did a video on this. I actually, I, I went, I, I, can, I can link you. There's a whole video where I, I calculated it. Um, yeah, here, if you, if you want to see real quick, here, I'll, I'll show it. It's under, um, it's uh, Twitch. Twitch channel points. Um, uh, math, math. I think something like this. <laughs> here, here. If you guys go to the channel points guide, it'll tell you right here actually what, it, what it'll do. So, uh, you get channel points. You get ten points for every five minutes. Uh, you get a bonus of fifty for every um fifty minutes that you click on something. Um, that means you're like active in, 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 in the Twitch. And then here are the big ones, the watch streaks. So if you've come to all of the, sh the streams and, and if it's like your fifth consecutive stream in a row, you get a bonus of 450 channel points, like right off the bat. Um, guys, no racism. What, what's, there's no racism. What? Okay. Um, so anyways, you can, you can go here to this website, this, this just type in like channel points, Twitch, and that will, that will tell you like, um, he was here earlier. Um, what's cheering? Cheering is uh, cheering is I I I don't I think that's what you do with bits. Cheering. Someone correct yeah, me if I'm wrong, that's right? Bits. Yeah. It's with bits. Yeah, you got to pay money for that. Like this Yo, is. Doctor Gold, do you know my username? Flipper. On, on Twitch. Flipper uh, score twenty two or eighty eight. Uh, I want to say it's eighty eight. I think so, right? All right, because it, it signed me out, and I don't know my password, so I'm trying to recover. And I... Oh, yeah, there's been some weird stuff happening recently, dude. I've, I've had a lot of weird shit, like, like I've had some emails where, like, Blank's trying to log into your account from, like, Bulgaria. I'm like, that's not me, dude. Um, yeah, I get those sometimes. Yeah, so uh, this is also why it's important, TV. guys, to, to enable 2FA. Do you guys know what 2FA is? Two-factor authentication. Good, two-factor auth authentication. So this Perfect. means that no one can sign into your accounts unless uh, they have access to your phone. Which you know is is a hard thing for people to have. Well, it's because like one set, like one set authentication is not like really good anymore, especially when <clears throat> when you like data has been breached. Yeah, so, like dude, they everyone, use everyone's hackers. passwords are getting fucking like hacked these days, dude. It's nuts. So now they 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 have a two FA. So you type in your password, and then uh -huh. they they um send a code to something that you have. Yes, like exactly. You have. Yeah, like a phone or like yeah yeah. Icy says, "What if someone robbed my phone? I think you got bigger issues if someone robbed your phone." But also, your phone is password protected, supposedly. So they'd have to hack your phone. You should, you should have a password. You on your should, phone. you should have a password on your phone. You should also not lose your phone. You know, the main threat you have are hackers from like random fucking people in Russia <clears throat> and like the Ukraine. Those are the people that like just are bored and they just hack accounts. You know. Um, Hi, Nolan. What's up? So Hello. who who just came in? Was that uh was that Sebi? Sebi just came in. Sebi. Sebi, I think. Well, Sebi is, 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 uh, whose friend is Sebi? Again? Sorry, someone just told me. Oh, it's Chucky's friend. Charles's friend. Chucky. Chucky. Do you know Sebi, uh, um, Flipper? I think they're all from your same school. Know you know Charles, right? Yeah. You know Charles. I know. I, know yeah, every, I invited everybody. everybody. Actually, 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 Yo, actually I'm actually, I don't like Flipper that much, but. No one's <laughs> you don't funny. like Flipper that much? Why not? He's a nice guy. No one's my babe. No one's, no okay, one's. Okay, bro. All right. Sebi's 5'1 right. with that attitude. Wow, dude. Uh, all right, Habibs, let's let's do this is your last question. Let's do your second question, and then I'll I'll get on to uh, Nolan's. Okay, what is the equation of a line that passes through the point four? Oh, I should be streaming in the disc. Am I stream? I am streaming in the Discord. Good. What is the equation of a line that passes through the point four two and is perpendicular to the line whose equation is this? Okay, cool. So first thing, anytime you want to write the equation of a line, guys, all you need to know is the slope and the intercept. Okay, that's that's the, all these questions are the fucking same, dude. It's all just fine. Find the slope, find the intercept. Okay, so if I need a line that's perpendicular to another line, that means its slope needs to be what in order for it to be perpendicular? Um, negative reciprocal. Good, negative reciprocal, right? So this slope has a slope of one third. So the slope of my perpendicular line 
is going to be negative 3 over 1. Okay, so now I already have this. I have y equals negative 3. Negative 3. Negative 3x plus b, right? Everything is always y equals mx plus b. I know there's another form called like, what's it called? Like point slope or something? I don't, I don't like that form. Point slope is, which is um, y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. Yes, yeah, that's another one you can do. but I, I And it does work. But so what we have to do is we have to, yeah, who's saying something? Who, who's who's talking? Oh, SpongeBob. Yo, Jack. Yeah, what's up? What's up, Jack? Real quick, because I'm teaching. Why did you start it at 5 o'clock? Uh, cause that's, that's the time I start Tuesday. on Tuesdays. Yeah. You can always type exclamation point schedule into the, into the discord. You can even do it in the Twitch if you want. And that will tell you what my current schedule is. I don't think I'm going to stream on, uh, Wednesday or Thursday though. Cause I'll give you guys a day off. Honestly, like thanks Thursday is Thanksgiving and Wednesday. I know a lot of you guys don't even have school. So like this, this may be oh, the last one for the week. Um, okay. So, uh, or maybe I'll do on Wednesday. I don't know. I'm debating it. Yeah, okay, okay, Habibs. Maybe I'll do on Wednesday. I'll do on Wednesday. I'm not gonna do on Thursday because that's Thanksgiving. I'm not. I'm not streaming on Thanksgiving. I'm gonna eat. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a lot of food on Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, this is what we call slope-intercept form, right? Y equals m x plus b. Uh, in order to figure out b, all you have to do is just plug a point in, right? So, a point on the line. A point on the line here is four two. So, I'm gonna plug in. Uh, sorry, two for y equals negative three times four for x. You see how this was? This was x. This was y plus b, so 2 equals minus 12, plus b, so b is equal to 14, and thus your equation is now y equals three, uh, negative 3x plus 14, and that's it. Cool, Habibs? That makes sense. Nice, okay. Uh, user, who's that? What? Um, go... What's up? What's up, brother? Um, do you get done at six o'clock? Uh, where do you, you live in Central Time, right? Is that what it is? Yeah, he does. Okay, yeah, I am. I'm done at six, and then I have I have twenty or thirty minutes to play games before I gotta go to the gym with A Rod. Uh, A Rod. A Rod. Yeah, me and A Rod, we work out together, dude. It's fucking dope, dude. Hey, it's five twenty-six for me. Right. So in thirty minutes. In thirty minutes. Um. I'll, I'll be able to, to play games with you if you guys want to play. Uh, or um, 24 minutes, actually. Or 24 minutes. Yes, 24 minutes. That's, uh, no, 34 minutes. Yo, it's, it's, Charles. Yeah. yeah. Yo, Charles just hey, hit 10, hey, dude. Hey, nice. Hey, you hey Chuck, are you going or what? What's going on, bro? He can, he dude, can. Dude, I don't want to go. Why not? Because, what are we going to do? Dude, we're going to the Field Museum. We're going to go visit the Bean. We're gonna go to Millennium Park. We're oh wait, you guys are you guys are going to the Fields Museum in Chicago, I, dude? Yeah. Yeah, that's sick, dude. Yeah, go to that, dude. Time. Yeah, go dude, to that. Dude, it is our own time, bro. Wednesday is our own like time. We're in school. Dude, Chicago's sick, dude. I like Chicago. Bro, you're so lazy, bro. Oh, <laughs> I'm lazy. Yeah. I'm on your computer right now. So are you? Right. Don't awesome on the trap phone. Oh god. He's on the trap phone, dude. What? Is he got two phones? He's on the trap phone. Like three. Three phones, dude. Wow, big dealer, big spender here. Yeah, one of my phones is for trapping. You know, like. <laughs> dude, I actually went to the trap museum in uh in where was it? It was in Atlanta, Georgia. It's 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 Ti. You guys know who Ti is? The rapper Ti. Yeah. Yeah, he, he has, has a, a museum. He has a museum in Atlanta called the Trap Music Museum, and it's about like trapping and like trap music, and like there was like a. There was like a there was an exhibit where they're like this is what a crack kitchen was and this is how they made crack and I was like oh this is pretty. Oh no, fun. I wasn't talking about yeah, that kind of joke. I'm saying we we flipping bands. We flipping bands, dude. What's flipping? <laughs> you kids, what what are you flipping <laughs> bands for? Are you just taking money and flipping it? Like what's flipping bands? <laughs> oh. Hell yeah. Right. Profit. Profit on what? What are you selling? Chubby. <laughs> <clears throat> what's up, baby Nolan? Hey, okay, bro. Saint John right. stopped selling, bro. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, cool. Nolan, you here? You ready for your question? Yeah. Okay. What is what is the first thing I always kind of do? So yeah, these these questions are always kind of a bitch. But like, what 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 what, what do I do? What, what was the trick I told so, like, you last time? Draw the transversal. Yeah, it's good. Draw like a massive fucking transversal, right? Because that's probably gonna help you out, right? Because this this stuff looks fucking weird. But like, if I draw like transversals, like I can I can figure it out. So there we go. There's a transversal, right? And then there's another one here okay cool all right 
Um, cool. What do they want? They want angle what? B E C. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So they want this angle, right? Or B sorry, B E C is this angle, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, hmm. Okay, this isn't too bad. Um, okay, so if I want to get this angle, Nolan, what what would be a useful angle? So let's work backwards. This is how I always do this with geometry. Like, what is? Uh, yeah, I see. Yours is next. Yours is next in the queue. If you look, if you guys look in the Discord in the Office Hours Discord channel, the Office Hours channel, whatever that order is, that's the ones I'll go through. Um, so post them in there if you want help. Um, okay, so if if I'm trying to figure out this angle, Nolan, what would be another useful angle to know? Um, I don't know to be honest. Okay. Maybe like behind it, like so like like here. A B E, or A B yeah. yeah. A B E would be useful. Yeah, yeah. This one would be pretty useful. I'll give you that. That could be kind of useful. Okay, cool. So in order to find this angle, what could be what could be useful? What could we use to find this angle? Power. Power. Angle. I don't know what that E C D. Is. E C D. Uh, good. Yeah, knowing this angle would be useful. Okay, cool. We're getting closer. Nice. No, oh, I'm nice. talking about like Thanks for no, the follow. actually angle C, 65. Ang like when you use that. Yeah, this is useful. Yeah. Okay. 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 This one is useful, right? But this one is not exactly going to be equal to that one yet. So okay. Um. Why? Why would this one be useful for figuring out this one? Uh, I'll give you. I'll give you a hint here, Nolan. So you remember last time when like we were trying to find angles and we bye, started. Nolan, love you. We started using like uh, parallel lines uh, and transversals and like opposite interiors and whatnot. What was another thing that we used? It's a shape. A shape? Yeah. Oh, well, like the squares. We used the squares, but there was another thing we used. What? Well, it was. It, it. It. We. We used. It has three sides. Cool. Triangles, right? We use triangles. Okay. Because what's what's something I know about triangles? Uh, it adds up to 180. Good, very good. Yeah, all the angles of a triangle add up to 180, right? So triangles equal 180 degrees, right? That's that's useful, okay? Because do we see any tri? We've made a lot of triangles by doing this, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do we see how maybe one of these triangles could help us figure out what this this pink angle is? Yeah, uh, maybe the 150. Good. This 150 could help us. Yeah, but what what triangle would I? What three letters would I use for a triangle to figure out this this pink angle? B E A. Good. Yes. Yes. You see how this 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 triangle could be useful, right? Okay. So if I could then figure out right these other two angles, then I could figure out what the what the pink angle is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I do I know what this angle is equal to, or this one's equal to? Um, wait, are they congruent? Which ones are, is, oh, is this one congruent to this one? Yeah. Uh, that, I don't, I, we don't necessarily know that. No. Oh, uh, okay. Well, let, well I let's, think I know the right angle. That'd be 30, right? This one would be 30, right? Because this one's 150, right? Yeah. So this one's definitely 30 degrees. Okay, cool. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's try and figure out this angle. How can I figure out this angle? Oh, thank uh, you. The mechanical. I love the hydrate. There's no, did nobody buy the baby it. voice yet? Okay. Sorry, what'd you say, Nolan? I don't know how you'd like figure that out. Okay. Well, let's see. Does this angle... So, again, we're using properties of triangles, right? But we're also using properties of like parallel lines and transversals, right? That's kind of what they... What they when, when, they t when they tell you this, right? It means you're probably going to have to use one of those opposite whatever the fuck corresponding whatever you know those those transversal angles mm -hmm. so it, does this angle have any sort of transversal property with another one let's say um same side interior S uh same so that's that's not a rule same side interior is not this is it's not a, it's not a rule right alternate interior is is a rule Same side interior. I never heard of that one. Yeah, that one's not one. Yeah. Okay. So, right, Nolan. If if I have if I have this and then I have a transversal, right? This one is equal to this one. That's opposite interior. That's correct, right? This is corresponding, right? Remember, because of the same part of the yeah. the square, 
and then opposite exterior are also the same, okay? So, looking at this, all right, right? We're looking at this angle. Does this angle have any other like transversal angle to it? Oh, is it the 65? Yes, good, good. Do you see how what what are these angles? What are they? What's the name for this one? Uh Wait, we're looking at like at the red thing, right? Yeah, the red, red line. Transversal. Yes. So then that's um, alternate interior. Good, very good. Alternate interior, right? So that means this one, right, is 65 degrees as well, right? Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So now I have two angles of my triangle. I can figure out the third angle, right? How can I figure out what the third angle is now? Um, you'd add 165 plus 30. Oh, sorry, it's just 65, sorry. That's a 60. Yeah, no, no that's, oh, that that's, like that's my bad. It, it does look like a one. So 65 uh, so degrees. So then you add those two, mm -hmm. and then you uh, subtract 180. Good, very good. So 180 minus, we get that this angle, the pink angle, right, is equal to 105 degrees. Okay, close, all right? And now let's remember, eye on the prize. What are we trying to figure out? What's, what's up, Obama? Trying to find out this blue angle, right? So if Wait, I know, you said it's one hundred five. The the pink angle is one hundred and five. No, okay, wait. Uh, wait. Not, wait, sixty five plus thirty five. That's ninety five. One eighty minus ninety five. Oh, I'm I'm retarded, dude. Jesus. <laughs> that does not work out. Dr. I put it. I put it as yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. It's eighty five degrees, right? Right. This one's eighty five. Are no. you sure about that? Uh. <laughs> yes yes it is 85 jesus don't <laughs> you're making me second guess myself would i rather have bits or a server boost uh i'll take the server boost super boost server boosts are cool i like server boosts i don't actually know what to do with bits like are bits, are you, bits... you get them donated you can like cash them out oh can i oh okay um, once you get like a certain amount right yeah i, I just I, I like the server where it is the server has a good amount of boosts and if it has like more boosts then it's more likely to not need more boosts so you know how many boosts are we at I think we're at seven, this which is seven. just barely oh, wow. the, the finals boost. Yeah, I'd, I'd appreciate boost. I like I like server boosts because the server is cool once it has like at least seven. We're right at the threshold for it being cool. So if anyone drops on being a boost, then it, it drops to the, the level one. So I appreciate the boosts. Um, okay. So sorry, sorry. If this one is 85 degrees then, okay. So what is what is the blue one going to be known? Um, that would be... 95? Uh, yeah. Nice. Cool. So that's what it is. This uh, angle is just 95 yeah. degrees. Oh, you also get two boosts. Oh, wow. I think if we get up to 14 boosts, we get, like, some really crazy... We get, like, a custom URL or something, which is super cool. What's up, Nick, dude? Good to see you. Oh, wait, wait. That's the wrong one. There you go. Yeah, 14 boosts. They changed it. They what did. The they did. They. I think they actually made it easier. It used to be, I no, think... They made, it, they made it way too easy now. Yeah, it used to be like it's 10 like, and 20 or something, I thought. Or was it 14 and 28? 22, 10, and like 30. Yeah, it used to be really, really high, which it I was like, expensive. yeah, yeah. Because I remember, because we, we, we bumped up to level two on the Discord, like, pretty right after they did that update. Because I think Raiden uh, boosted, and then, <coughs> sorry, Demented boosted. But then Demented's account got banned, so like, I don't know. Uh, This guy. Okay, cool. All right, nice, Dylan. Does that, does that make sense to you? Yeah. Yeah. Sick, dude. Oh, oh, uh, for the Steam gift card, uh, can you add? Can you you can you DM me your Steam uh your Steam username? Oh uh, yeah, I got you. Because I did this with Philip. I need to be like friends with you for like three days or something. Is what it is. Uh, yeah. So just um yeah, text. I'll me. send you my friend code. There you go. Perfect. Send that to me and I'll, I'll get it done. Uh, if I don't get it done, remind me. It's I got I got a bunch of stuff I'm doing. The sky is literally up. Is it three day like? London or something like that. Yeah, it's it, you Both gotta wait band. three days before it um it allows you to send stuff. Okay, I see on Is it. You, you hear in the chat, dude? You in the chat, I see, dude. Ooh, this is fun. We learned about titrations. Oh, that's cool. Titrations are sick. So I need a little bit of help explaining that. Okay, I can help you with that. What's the weather right now? Uh, it's let's see, it's sixty four degrees. Ooh, Pretty sunny today. It's okay. nice. Very nice. It's like 30 here, but... 30? 
Yeah. Dude, that's like that like makes my bones cold, dude. Like I'm like like. like oh, that's freezing. Man. Yeah, dude. I don't go outside, dude. Thirty degrees, dude. What? Get out of here, dude. <laughs> what? It's almost that time of year for the outdoor rink season. Would be grinding outside. Oh man. Yeah. Hockey. Yeah. ODR season, baby. They feel this pioneer doing the thingy. I don't know about Pioneer, but I know uh, Heritage does, and maybe Sunset. Sunset. Now the sports complex did it once. They did yeah, it like that five was years garbage. Ago. Yeah, it was pretty bad. All right, I see. We're doing covalent bonds. Okay, cool. Here, I'll do some of these for you. I'm not gonna do all of them for you because I would. I'm not here to just do your homework, <laughs> but I'll help you with them. Uh, okay, cool. Let's look at, for instance, um, let's look at phosphorus, for instance. Phosphorus, number of protons. How do I figure out the number of protons in something, guys? Remember basic chemistry? How do I figure out the number of protons in phosphorus? First, I got atomic a atomic number. Got atomic number. Yes, nice. good. So atomic number here is what is that? That's fifth. I can't tell. I can't tell either. It's fifteen. Okay. So, fifteen protons for phosphorus, right? Number of electrons. Are sure? What? Are you sure that's that fifteen? I think it did, dude. Right? Yeah, it's fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. That just looks like pixels to me. I know it's it's blurry. I need to get like a like a four <coughs> K. Okay. Yeah, let's do that, dude. Let's let's get a four K like periodic table, dude. Let's get a four K periodic table. Uh, <laughs> I guess. What's up? Who else is in the chat? Zeruto, what's up, dude? Your friend oh Zeruto, your friend was having trouble joining the, the Discord as well. Is there something wrong with Discord? Like are people just having a, a tough time? Did you just shut down the server? Oh. No, I didn't. I I mean, I put the I put the safety restrictions on it. It didn't like he didn't like it didn't like put him like like having him like check it as like already. Yeah. Okay. And then um, it said he had to verify his email. Yes, yes, you do need to do that. Yeah. So I have that. That's safety measures to make sure that there are no bots that just come in. Like that's that's just standard protocol. And actually, I think they make me do that if I apply for a Discord partner. They make me like put those. They make me put those up. Put that up. It's like the same reason if you become a mod in my server, you have to have 2FA. Like Discord Discord will not let you become a mod in a in a in a in a community server unless you have 2FA on your phone. Because if if a mod if a mod's account got hacked, they could just start like wrecking havoc on shit. Um Okay. So yes, phosphorus 15, great. Oh, this doesn't have the mass on it. That's dumb. But okay, cool. So it has it has fifteen electrons as well. So not five IC. It's got fifteen. Yeah, well, well, it was just because also his mom like, had like some part of his phone was like his mom's information already logged in. So. Oh okay. Oh yeah, I see. So he's like trying to log on two accounts. Yeah. <sighs> All good. We'll figure it out. Okay. Number of valence electrons. Okay, so valence electrons always goes like this, right? One valence electron, two valence electrons. All of this is. Sometimes two to like four depends. It's usually two, but it can change. Uh, they'll usually have Roman numerals sometimes. Like for instance, they'll say CR, and they'll put like a a number like this. That means it has three valence electrons. Uh, this is three valence electrons. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Phosphorus then has five valence electrons, right? So that's gonna be five valence electrons. Number of electrons to fill the outer shell. So almost all. Um, Covalent compounds want their outer shell to either be eight or zero, right? Um, so in this case, phosphorus is at five, so it needs three more. Yes, exactly, Ice. It needs three more, right? So this is three more electrons to fill the outer shell. The only exception to this is hydrogen. Hydrogen only wants to have two. Um, helium also wants to only have two. Yeah, good. All right. So I assume you can do the other ones because that's that's not like too difficult. You know, you, you can figure it out. Wait, can you explain the outer shell again? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay. So let's look, for instance, at phos phosphorus. Okay, so phosphorus, um, let's put a circle. Wait, circle. Phosphorus has 15 protons, right? Uh, I don't know how many neutrons it has. doesn't matter. Um, and then it has 15 electrons on the outside, right? So wait, have you done, uh, Philip, have you done like orbitals and stuff yet? No. No. Okay, cool. So this is here. This is going to be bonus stuff that you're going to go through eventually. Okay. Uh, but wait, you're in chemistry, aren't you? In like advanced ass chem chemistry? I'm in honors chemistry. Yeah. We're and you guys, titrations. you guys haven't done, you guys haven't done uh, electron configurations yet? Oh, we, we did electrons like right now though. Like, but yeah, you didn't vitamins. do the, you didn't do the configurations. You didn't do like 1s1, nope. 2s1. No, no. no. What is oh. that? No, there's not no anything. Okay. 
Pete the Black Ops 2. What's the Black Ops 2, dude? What? All right. Uh, okay, so here I'm going to teach you guys something. All right. So, okay. Here, here's why a periodic table is is useful. Okay, these are these are what – do you see how we have numbers 1 through 8 going to the right, right? Yeah. We also have numbers going down. This is going to be n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, n equals 4. What this number refers to is what the energy level that the electrons are in, okay? So phosphorus has 15 electrons, right? That means it has 15 electrons surrounding it, right? Yep. But the position of those electrons uh, varies, right? Depending on which electron you're looking at, okay? And so here's what happens. So it has a bunch of like what we call like orbitals, which is like rings, okay? So um, – we're going to have our first... Yeah, I, remember, I remember the rings from like 8th grade. Okay, good. So then this is what we call n equals 1. Okay, n equals 1 only can ever fit two electrons. Okay. So, and that's what I we... I also do kind of remember that. Uh, yeah, so this is what we call 1s2. Okay. Then you have another ring outside, right? Which is the n equals 2. Uh, n equals 2 shell or energy level. So n equals 2 uh, can fit up to 8 electrons. You see how there's 8 here? 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Yeah. And then it's it's broken up into uh, a couple different things. It's broken up into these are, for instance, the s orbitals, and then these right here are what we call the p orbitals. So when we look at all the electrons that are in this n equals two, how many are you going to have in the s orbital? Remember that this is all s. Two. Two. Good. So you're going to have two electrons in the s orbital, and then how many are you going to have here in what we call like the p orbital? Three through seven? No. Uh, yeah, you, well, uh, this one. Do you see how this is six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. Yeah, right? Okay, cool. Okay, good. Yeah, I see on it too. Good. So, so n equals two as a whole is going to have eight electrons. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, okay, but how we're gonna write? So what we're writing here, electron configuration. This is like writing an address for um, where all the electrons are. So these electrons are gonna have two in the s orbital. That's why I wrote two s two, because it's the n equals two energy level. It's the s orbital it has two that's in it, and then it's gonna have two p six, right? Again, so it has six electrons in the p orbital, which is also located on the n equals two energy level for a total of eight. There's eight in the n equals two. Okay, so then we have the final one, n equals 3, okay? And if we look at our periodic table, right, n equals 3, we're going to go up to phosphorus, right? So do you see how we're, how many are we going to fill in the s orbital? <coughs> Two. Two, very good. And then how many am I going to fill in the p orbital if I'm going up to phosphorus? Three. Three, good, good. So three because it stops off phosphorus, right? It and can hold ten. Fruit. So no, it can't actually hold ten. Uh, you're thinking, uh, I see. You're thinking about this. These ones can hold ten. You're right. When when there's like anything in chemistry, and I'm sure you've experienced this, Philip. Right? Aren't there like exceptions to fucking everything? Like there's like yeah. It's it's always this, except when it's this. And you're just like, what? Like chemistry? Can you make up your mind? Uh, there there are some weird things that happen. Where like once we start getting to these lower elements, yes, we start adding these and these start screwing things up. This is what's called like – these ones right here are, what, are what's called the d orbital and they hold 10. Uh, but their naming structure is different such that even though this is n equals 4, this ends up becoming 3d and then this is 4d. It's it's weird, but okay. Well, you don't you need to get to that yet. So good. n equals 3. So we know we're going to hold uh, a total of – how many was it? Sorry. One, two, three. A total of five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And so now how we represent that in our electron configuration. Again, electron configuration is just like the address. It's like, okay, where are all the electrons, right? Is you have a 3, 3s2, and you have a 3p3. Is that what we have? Or is it, was it 3? Yes, 3p3. Right. There you go. This tells you, this is, this is a map of all the electrons that are that are around phosphorus. So you can see in the first shell, n equals one, I have two electrons, right? The second shell, I have a total of eight, but it's split between two and an s orbital, six and a p orbital. And then in the n equals three shell, I have my s orbital, which is a full two, 
and then my p orbital, which is half filled with three. So this is also cool because now you can see that I have five electrons in the outermost shell. These are what are called the valence electrons. The valence electrons are the, the furthest most electrons, which means they're the easiest to uh, take away and, and, and contribute to. Um, the reason why that is is because they're the furthest away from the nucleus. What do you guys know about the charge of the nucleus? What's, what's the charge of the nucleus? Is it po the Yeah, is it positive? Is it negative? Is it neutral? What's what's the charge of the nucleus? I feel like it's it has what well, it has a proton, so it has to be like positive. Good, good. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Good. The nucleus is positive because it only has protons. Neutrons don't have a charge, right? So it's it's really only positive. Okay. Well, it was attracted to the protons, right? Uh, the neutrons are attracted to the protons by something that's called, I think, the strong force, which is a weird thing that, you know, you don't have really gone through. Neutral, damn it. It's okay, dude. So I see, yeah. So the, 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 the nucleus, I know it says new, you're like neutral. No, no, no. Nucleus just means like the center. Um, but uh, it's positive because the protons are positive. What, what charge are the electrons? Negative. Negative, good. These are negative charges, right? Okay. So this is kind of a thing, kind of like magnets, where like opposite sides of the magnet attract each other. Opposite charges also attract each other, okay? So that's why these negative charges are orbiting this positive charge. It's because, because the negative charge from the electrons is attracted to the positive charge of the protons in the center. They kind of like stay together, right? However, that force that holds them together, that decreases the further away you get, right? Just like a magnet. You know if you hold like two magnets far apart, you don't fucking feel anything, right? They don't really do anything. But if you get them really close... Right, then they go shk, or they or they repel each other if they're the same charge. It's the same thing with the electrons and the protons. So the reason why we talk about valence electrons is because they're the furthest away, which means they have the weakest attraction towards the center. So they have the weakest force holding them in. And that's why they're the easiest to remove and they're the easiest to add to because it's just it, this has to do with what's called ionization energy and um Fuck, what's the other thing called? Electron affinity, I think. Have you guys done periodic trends before? Mm, not me. No, still not? Okay, all right. <laughs> it's, your chemistry Wait, class is going in a weird periodic order. Periodic trends? Periodic trends, like electronegativity, yeah, atomic, oh yeah, 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 atomic I, radius. Oh. Okay, good. All okay, right. not just electronegativity, how <clears throat> how the right side is more electronegativity yeah, and like good. the further up you go. Yeah, it's okay. And I see. Is most yeah, ele okay. electron has the most electronegativity. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. So anyways, so this is why there's five valence electrons, okay? Now, in order for something, in order for an element to be stable, in order for it to be happy, it wants to have a full valence shell. It wants its outermost shell to either to, to be full, right? So there are a couple ways to do that. So for phosphorus, its outermost shell has how many electrons in it? Hello. Yeah, what's phosphorus up? Phosphorus is a five, right? It's got five, right? Okay. But it, need, it wants eight? It wants eight, right? What would be another oh. option? If it, if it didn't want eight, but it still wanted a full shell, what could it do? Um, can it borrow? No, 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 no. So it can, e it can either take three, right? It could take three to become eight. The other thing it could do is it could lose five, right? Oh. If it lost all five here, right, do you see how now it would have a full shell because the N equals two shell would be full? Would be yeah. The N equals two shell, which is full, would be the outermost shell. Yeah. So this is this is kind of the rule of, of, of valence electrons and, and why, like, certain things want certain ones. So... Uh, the classic example for this is um, is salt, right? Okay, let's look at like salt, for instance, right? Salt is Na, which has how many valence electrons? Na, where is Na? Oh, it's one. One, right? Um, yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up, Jack? Oh, um, I can't play Warzone tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. We'll we'll play tomorrow, dude. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. Um. So sodium has one valence electron. How many valence electrons does chlorine have? Seven. Oh, seven. so chlorine's going to take one Good. from exactly. sodium to yes. get a full cell. Yeah, see. So chlorine's going to take one, right, to have a full eight electrons, whereas sodium would love to just lose one so that it, it bumps down to having this being its full shell, right? Now this is the full shell for, for sodium, 
right? It lost one electron, so it's like technically here. Whereas chlorine now gains an electron, right? To have this as its full shell. So this ends up being an N equals two full shell. And this ends up being an N equals three full shell. Yeah. Oh. Pretty cool, right? Nice. Okay, awesome. I see. Does that make sense to you, dude? Yes. Also, I'll, I'll I'll give I'll give you a bond coin, Philip, because that was a that was a good question. You 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 gave a good uh, a good follow up question to that. Yes. Nice. Cool. Thanks, I see you. All right, sick. Okay, let's see. Um, I got time for one more. So, Habibs, I'll do yours. Unless someone else has one that they want to ask real quick. Oh, man, what are these? Dude, what are these things again? Rhombuses? Trapezoids? Dude, you guys are all in, like, shapes land, dude. What's with all these fucking shapes? <laughs> I'm so close to 30. You are, I see. Yeah, good job, dude. Yeah, you'll get your next reward, dude. <coughs> Can we do the Matrix thingy? Uh, you got to give me a question with the Matrix thingy. That was actually pretty tough, the thing Grim went through. Where is Grim, dude? Where is he? Is he not here today for once? Grim's not here? Okay. Uh, Hiroshi is writing a coordinate proof to show that the diagonals of a parallelogram in intersect each other. He begins by, okay, great. Which sentence describes what Hiroshi should show that the diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other? Oh, okay. Uh, I could make a question for it. I could, but I don't really want to right now. <laughs> I'm a little tired. Um, okay. Do you guys know what bisect means? Do you know what, you know what bisect means? It's a, it's a special word. Special word, bisect. Oh, I got to give Obama the Twitch subscriber role, dude. Nice, dude. So bisect means um, it makes them into two like equal sides. So that means that this – it cuts it in half. That's what bisect means. So it means that, that that side equals this side and that this segment equals this seg equals this segment. That's what bisect means. Um, okay. So in order to do that, um, we have to show that the length of – well, we don't have a point here, right? But – I'm going to find a question on Google for it. Yes. Yeah. If you, it, you, that's good, Nick. Yeah. Find me a question. Um, okay. So that means that this would need to be the midpoint. So A over 2, C over 2 needs to be the midpoint of QN. The re how I did that is I took the X point from here, the X point from here, and I divided it by 2. And then I took the Y point from here and the Y point from here, and I divided it by 2. And then also that uh, – oh, wait, wait, yeah. And, okay. So then between these two, it's going to be um, – oh, actually, no, 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 no. I did this wrong. I did this wrong. Okay. We need the midpoint between Q and N. So the midpoint of QN needs to equal – the so this needs to be x x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2 this is how you find the midpoint between two points okay so this is going to equal a plus b over 2 comma c over 2 okay that's for qn and then the midpoint for mp is also going to need equal the same thing so that's going to be B plus A over 2, comma, C over 2. Okay, so same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this this is your answer here, Babibs. This is what it is. Okay, nice. All right. Um, I think that's it for office hours. If anyone else has any last-minute questions. Um, cool. All right, thank you, everyone, for joining. Um, hope you guys had fun. Hope you guys learned some stuff. Uh, I will, I'll, I'll do a stream tomorrow. I'll, I'll do a stream tomorrow for Wednesday for you guys. Um, but then Thursday is Thanksgiving, no stream on Thursday. 
But um, so if you have any last minute questions or stuff you have before the break starts, make sure to come by tomorrow. Um, also, if you want to come play some some video games with us, I'll be playing Warzone for probably 20, 30 minutes uh, in the recess channel. Feel free to join. I may start actually streaming um, my video games. Uh, I got some new equipment to, to maybe do that. So I'm thinking about starting another uh, Twitch stream called Actual Gaming that we'll use for the, the you know the video games I play with you guys. Uh, but I still want to keep it separate. I want to I want to keep the learning Twitch different from the the gaming Twitch, but they can still be connected to each other uh, by the whole actual brand. Um, so I'll let you guys. I'll announce to that if if when that gets up, um, and then also the new rules we need to do for the monthly tournament uh, f with uh, um, going into the holidays. Um, okay, cool. If you guys ever have any questions or um, need more help, join the Discord exclamation Discord. We'll get you the link to come in, have some fun, um, get some rewards. Uh, so enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.